Welcome back to my study, dude. What up, bro? Welcome back down to my fucking lair. Bro, this could, this could be the new... This could be the jump off, bro. It's fucking sick. This could be it. I was down here, dude, concocting a fucking... Concocting some research, concocting my paper. Yeah. I was like, oh, Shane, welcome to my study. Take yes. a seat. Shall we? Dine on a burger. <laughs> you made a nice burger for me with gluten-free... <laughs> gluten-free? I'm fucking retarded. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're, pl- we're officially plugged in. That now was, we're plugged in. That was like coming right from my laptop because I forgot to plug in this cord. Are you going to keep that? Uh, might as well. Sick. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. It's a power move. A little, little behind the curtain. Yeah, give people a little taste of like the lo-fi we could mm-hmm. give them. And I was like, bam, here's a professional here's, quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a professional quality. I wonder how many wieners were instantly like, the audio on this one sucks. Oh, my God. There's, this episode sucks. There's a race to upload. Like, whoa. <laughs> I've been che- there's been a lot of good dogs on there. Dude. I know I've been there's checking been the Reddit. A lot so funny, of good man. dogs. Yeah, good Reddit. Reddit's good. It's we got good a, right we got now. a good sub. We do. We got a good sub right now. Dude, the sub can go bad. Though. I've seen subs go bad. No, the best <laughs> anymore. We've been spared. It it turns into more sub infighting than anything. Yeah, the sub infighting in, so. Funny, there's a dude. whole subclass of people who are like, "Fucking don't say anything nice about these motherfuckers and shit on you," especially <laughs> Billy and Spud. <laughs> They're like, why are you guys on Billion Spud's dick? They shit on this fucking subreddit. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. But, you know. Subreddit rules, dude. Sub, dude. I remember remember <laughs> when I was like, dude, I'm starting a subreddit. This is like yeah, yeah, yeah. episode four. And you're like, dude, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, trust. And there was like six people on there for like nine months. And I'm like, it's growing, dude. It's growing. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, well, it was. I remember when it was at like 69. The, I was tight. I remember. It was like the, nice, dude. Just a sick squad. Dude, the original 69 was probably... The, <sighs> that was so fun. That's fun. When it was just group. 69 dudes on I'd there. I'd get so excited if just a stranger posted about the podcast. I was like, holy shit, people are listening to this. <laughs> it's like, fast forward like a year, it's like Time Magazine's right? It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, man. no. Yeah, dude. I banned someone from... I, I gave someone a 30-day cool off. Really? Yeah, someone's getting nasty. Really, dude? I I gave them a thirty day cool off, and you get to customize the message. Were they being nasty to me? They're being they're being nasty. They crossed the, they crossed the line that is family that I don't fucking like. Oh, they were talking shit on my family. I fucking burn his ass. I figured I figured if you ban somebody, it wouldn't be for your own protection. No, that's not your style. You just protected me. Was when people when people cross the line that is family. When people pull civilians into this, yeah, I go no 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 Mm-mm. no 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 no. No, we're not bringing civilians. Into loved this. ones, bro. No no. Please no, no, don't no. bring loved ones into this. I mean, no. you guys are gonna bring family. People tried. I, in his defense, One. how can he not talk about family <laughs> in his defense? Well, the funniest part is it's a 30-day ban, and I get to write the note. <laughs> so the note is like, the reason you've been banned, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. Take some whatever. I forget what I wrote. Oh, man. It's like, fuck you, bro. Yeah, he needs some time off to reflect. <laughs> gave, him 30, gave, him, this up, gave him a month off. That goes for anyone who crosses the fucking line, dude. Yes, dude. All right. What's going on? Chilling, man. Chilling, <laughs> dude. You don't understand how good that felt. The fucking just be like, <laughs> off of It's funny. Thirty day ban is so. I've been banned off of so many subreddits that usually they give you the chance to come back. I'm like, dude, usually I'd come back. Like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. And they're like, clearly, dude, you're fucking <laughs> laughing at someone's like butthole on Ask a Doctor. You have to get off. <laughs> I'm like, all right, dude. If you're gonna be fucking lame about it. Oh man. But yeah, that was dude, sorry. That was so. This fun. is a slumber party episode. This is wild. Wow. Dude. This is, man. What do you think about the slumber party? Dude, look at fucking... The dogs are already- My dogs are asleep next to you. Jackson fresh off eating an entire turkey leg and shitting it out. Dude, that was that's a lesson of fucking the ferocity of nature. Eats a fucking turkey leg out of my trash. Whole, dude, turkey legs are about as big as my arm bone. <laughs> my arm bone. Dude. Thank you, doctor. My fucking tibia, my arm bone. dude. My fucking tibia. This <laughs> thing is fucking huge. Yeah. He fucking literally vanished it. And then, so, like, you know, the next, first day is fine. Second day, the diarrhea comes. I was ready for it. Bone fragments start coming out. One of the bone fragments was, like, as big as a pocket knife. Like, you know, like a legal four-finger size blade. So I fucking, I pull this, I look, I'm looking out the window, <laughs> scoping this fucking bone frag. It's so funny to describe, <laughs> like, I'm trying to, like, you're, what you equate things to in length. You're like, just a legal four-finger blade. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man? <laughs> So I'm looking out the window at this bone frag. I'm like, dude, I can't wait to go out in the morning and peep that thing because it was nighttime. <laughs> Yo, I go out in the morning. It's fucking gone. 
Really? A fucking lesser creature came <laughs> and ate his bone out of diarrhea and fucking ate the bone. I was like, I literally, dude, it was such a chilly morning. I was like, God, the fucking ferocity of nature. <laughs> nature is metal, dude. <laughs> Damn. I was like, God, what a It's evil. probably him. I know it wasn't. Did you let him back out? I got out there first thing. I let them out and just peeped the window. I went out there and was just like, let me get I out. I bet there. in the meantime, from you peeping the window and walking to the door, he fucking snagged. It was it. after he came in. Really? I'm telling you, bro. It was after he came in. I'm telling you. He, he, I bet he was just as excited to get out there and see that bone <laughs> as you were. I bet he spent the whole night like, I'm going to eat that fucking thing. It's funny because he does think of it. You can tell he has like his little wheelhouse. Yeah. So our trash can now is basically his mailbox. <laughs> so like ever since we cut his portions because the vet told us he was fat, he just like, <laughs> we'll just like go in the mail. We'll just go in the trash can. Like Brittany's like, he has to stop doing this. I'm like, he doesn't understand. Yeah. Like he just like, Spud put it pretty good. He was like. Because, like, I would get mad at him, and Spud's like, dude, like, dogs are so, like, they, they have no capacity. He's like, if you had, like, a retarded cousin who was, like, digging around, he's like, you wouldn't beat him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Fair. Fair. And he's like, well, you should definitely not beat a dog. And I was like, that's yeah. a good way of putting it. Good. So he's like, that Spud is, man. I had to explain. Knowledge from the Spud I had man. Expl- if you had a retarded cousin, would you hit him? That's that's what I'm saying. True. No, I, if, you, if, if my retarded cousin, like, just ruined some of my shit, I wouldn't be like, what the fuck, dude? I wouldn't like grab him. Be like, "Fucking, what did you do?" <laughs> it fuck was funny because like I was like fighting with Brittany. I'm like, "You gotta stop yelling at our fucking dog." I'm like, "If he was a retarded person, would you fucking scream at him?" <laughs> she was just like, "What the fuck did you hear that from?" <laughs> spud, Spud. I did. She, she was like, "That was one of her second guesses." She was like, yeah. "I was guessing that was some Spud logic." I was like, "It's a fucking good point. It's good logic." And you out there thinking you're beating a dog? Will you? Are you ready to? Would you? Does that make sense? Is that a bad thing? That's not a bad thing to say. It's a good thing to say. Yeah, but if, if people you, expect a lot from dogs, if you were blind, would you hire your retarded cousin to lead you around? Yes, <laughs> dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> just take you to Toys R Us every day. It's like, no, oh, god damn it, I was going to work. <laughs> just, oh my god. just keeps taking you to this like the park. It's like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fucking Dude, funny how excited are you for the sleepover Especially if he turned on you Oh If you were like god damn it let me in the ball He's like that's enough And fucking just oh, jacked and he you jacked up. you up at the park and left you <laughs> Oh man Help <laughs> That'd be tight if they had that Like you know they have the bird scooter <laughs> Sorry um, Yeah what were you saying <laughs> No what's, what's going on with the bird scooter Same thing just like RPG mode, you just have the boys just idling. You're like, oh, sweet. You fucking, you're like, oh, come on, let's go. <laughs> like, all right, I'm done. Push, push him you leave push. it. <laughs> push him down. <laughs> That's no good, Matt. That's, That's junk, dude. That is junk. I'm That's sorry. That's junk you're spitting. I'm sorry, dude. Sometimes these things just come Man. to me, dude. And I, ha- I, I, I just, I can't hold them to no, myself. No, that's funny. So you, you think it'd be funny if bird scooters were a place with <laughs> mentally handicapped, sturdy men that would carry you? <laughs> From bar to bar, just something, man. Yeah. Just like, you know, just to like walk around as like security. Yeah, or like if you're in a new city, just want to go sightseeing. True. Just be like, take me to the best <laughs> fucking McDonald's. <laughs> like, let's kick it, dude. True. That'd be tight. Let's think about it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea of getting someone like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, when you're like, all right, I'm here. Let's just throw it. Um. No, what I was trying to say is I'm fucking stoked on the slumber party. Yeah, man. Normally I'm crashing on Beezer's couch. Nah, this is dude. good. I'm done with that. You got a bed. You'll have these two. You'll have two dogs sleeping with you. It'll be a good time. Wait, they're going to sleep with me? Yeah. Why? It's good luck shucking them off, dude. You might be able to push them <laughs> off. They have two. Oh, do they sleep on the guest bed? No, they have their two. Own, they have their own beds, but Jackson is a cuddle bug. So he'll... Why doesn't he cuddle with you? We banish him. He's a, he, no, he takes really? up too much space. Yeah, he's he's a fucking asshole, dude. He like sleeps near my head. It's like, dude, you're not a fucking cat. Damn, this is gonna be this is gonna suck. No, you'll have to battle Jax. He's a, he he's with one person. He's great. Like when I take naps, I call them both up. It's All just right. when it's me and my bay. It's like it's too much. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this will be good practice for you guys taking care of, taking care of a baby. True. You already made me some dinner late. Made you some dinner. I might, I might shit my pants just to run a drill for you, dude. That'd be See, awesome. Was, I'm gonna cry all night. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm gonna wake you up. You guys are gonna have to take turns coming in and be like, "It's okay, it's okay." We'll, we'll put a monitor up there and see, like, 
fuck, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, Shane's freaking out about his life. <laughs> oh, fuck, go get him. Go rub his back. It's okay. SNL sucks. It's okay. No one cares. <laughs> oh, I could have had it. <laughs> Be squirting, be squirting almond milk on my wrist. <laughs> That's too hot, dude. I was actually thinking. Speaking of shitting your pants, I was actually fantasizing about running a marathon recently, mm-hmm. and just right as soon as the guns, <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right out the gate, just fully shitting and pissing myself. <laughs> And then running the rest of the race. Dude. Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> How funny would be like, whoo. Like, oh, let's go, guys. Just as soon as it goes out, it's like, oh, God. Doing it, <laughs> doing it like a 5K, like a walk. Like a benefit walk. It's a nighttime walk for suicide. Just shit yourself on the art museum steps. <laughs> be like, oh fuck, I can't stop. I can't stop. It'd be tight to try to win the walk. <laughs> you walk as fast as fuck. Oh man, shit, <laughs> shit yourself at the fucking <laughs> like a tough mutter three k. <laughs> Out the gate would be so tight, dude. <laughs> or finishing, or just finishing, and just be like, Ugh. "Oh man, dude, I have a dude. You could ruin a tough mother. You just took a shit and jumped into like the mud pool. Or just blatantly <laughs> peed your pants. Like how you guys feel about this? And start blatantly peeing your pants. Like, oh, dude, you know how it is on the marathon course. <laughs> like, dude, we haven't even started yet." <laughs> Oh fuck, dude! That's good. How fucking funny! That's that be? good, man. How funny would that be? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> right out the gate, dude. Sprinter sl- said, <laughs> "Sleepover cast. <laughs> Sleepover cast is wild, dude. It's so silly. It's so silly, dude. Getting in a fucking sprint. <laughs> sprint <laughs> <laughs> oh, more. Heat three. Number and you're just like, yeah. oh. <laughs> And then just fucking running, dude. Oh, Especially, really? like, you know how people pace themselves? <laughs> just break into a full, like, 100-meter sprint and just shit and piss yourself <laughs> way ahead of everybody and just stop and make everybody run past you. And just look at them, hands up, just like, can you believe it? <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Every time. Like, you gave it my all. <laughs> And then walk the whole rest of the <laughs> way. Walk, make everyone so stand that, like, there. The guy with the microphone has to wait with you. You have a, a seven-hour marathon. You do like that cowboy walk. Where everyone, like, oh. You're just waiting for everyone to be like clapping like you had a broken yeah, leg. So <laughs> yeah, you got to do the wobbly legs. Act like you're like shot. Yeah. Damn. Dude, How um, you you got to train for that by just, just shitting on the treadmill. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Dumping out on the treadmill. You're walking to the Gatorade stations, just like splashing your fucking balls with Gatorade. Look, you're like, ah, it fucking stings. <laughs> oh fuck, man! God, that would be so fucking awesome. That's the best. That would be so fucking sick. That's so good. Man. Yeah, I passed a marathon the other day and was just driving. I was like, fuck, god damn it, that's so fucking. Fu-. I was like, that's, oh, dude, man. just to start one of these would be so funny oh. like that. <laughs> like the full numbers on your chest and everything. Oh man, I uh... nothing better than seeing that the marathons around here. Dude, I was, I mean, this is, I just talked about it on a different podcast earlier today, but it's been cracking me up all day mm-hmm. thinking about, uh, all right, so we, we, somehow we were talking about the Parkland shooting. Okay. And how I was like, dude, props to the fucking security guard who didn't go in. Who just stayed out? <laughs> who stayed outside during the <laughs> shooting. He was just like, fuck it, dude, no way. <laughs> True. And then I was like, how much do you think he got paid? Like 40 grand? And was just like. Dude, he must have. Been, he had a gun and sat outside, literally to guard from a shooting. Yeah, that was his whole job. He must have been like, dude, I have the best job in the world. I know. Like, there's never gonna be a. There's never a shooting. There's no chance there's gonna be a shooting. <laughs> and it happens, and he's like, you know what? What are they gonna fire me? <laughs> True <laughs> that, it, dude. I mean, he he did get fired, right? Yeah, I think he got like arrested. I mean, think about all the time. He got arrested. <laughs> he got, I think they like, yeah, I think he got in a lot of trouble. What kind of jail cred is like sitting out of a school shooting? I mean, the punishment You're alone. You're the boss, dude. The punishment You're a shot al- caller right away in the pen. No, dude, the punishment <laughs> <a> alone. 
<laughs> like, damn, bro, that's fucking tough. That's hard. Now, the punishment alone should be having to listen to every fucking dude for the rest of your life. Be like, dude, I would have fucking grabbed that gun and ran in there and fucking probably <laughs> winged him off the bat. It's like every dickhead in the world oh. being all of a sudden turning into Max Payne. <laughs> I do fantasize about that, though. Do you ever fantasize about, like, stopping a public yeah. shooting? Yeah. That's one of my, like, biggest I was fantasies. always, every time I was in school, forever, I was always thinking about that. I would... I, like, dude, I, I think about I, it all the time. Well, you're in school. Yeah. I'd be thinking about it, but... That'd be some Red Dead Redemption for me, dude. That'd be... Oh, dude, you don't think I've thought about some good redemptions? For stopping... Saving, to, saving like a family and be like, huh? How about that? How about that? Huh? Pretty good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the... My uh, baby girl's up and she moved... She's going back to school. She's gone. Yeah, and she was worried about school shootings. And I was like, nobody shoots up community colleges. I don't know. I feel like they'd be... No, they don't. They don't hit them. I feel like they're ripe for the picking. Yeah, I mean, no, I think the school shooters are usually, like, either out of... They don't go... They don't extend their education, or they go to, like, a really good school. True. Well, yeah. Aren't they all, like... like? I mean, community colleges do. Not the hex. I bet they have. Not the hex. I bet they have been hit. They had to have. I mean, I've passed a lot of community colleges. Yeah, you see a lot of Jinko jeans, dude. A lot lot of of Jinko jeans. Jinkos at the community still. They're like fucking modern day cowboy pants, dude. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of gunslingers. A lot of gunslingers. (laughs) Yeah, it is like the Wild West. (laughs) I mean, yeah, I've passed community colleges. A lot of people trying to figure out dentistry. Yeah. It is the Old West, dude. A community college is a bunch of different, like, (laughs) shitty shops. Yeah, there is a lot of I wild West majors. True, you know. True, I don't. But yeah, I guess you might be safe though. You have enough. Yeah, I, was, well, I don't know how it is in Vermont. In Philadelphia Community College, you'd have enough black people to be like buffering the school shooter energy. It doesn't happen around black people a lot. It does, but they just nobody. It's like a mass. Con- it's like no, a, there's shootings all the time in black schools, and just nobody. But they're not like they're nerd. Just, but they're not yeah, nerd it's not inspired. Out. No, exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's not like, filled with like nerd rage, where it's just like I'm getting everybody. Exactly. It's usually a one on one thing. Yeah, it's usually just beef. Yeah. So it's, it's beef. Beefs. Everybody's like, yeah, cool. It's a duel. Yeah, they duel. It's There's a, a lot more yeah. gentlemanly. It's a lot more. And and when they duel, when they <laughs> when they duel, everyone's like sick. Yeah, everyone's like, that's oh, cool. You guys dueled. We got to stop this. But the honkies doing it is a problem. Yeah. Because the honkies aren't gentlemen's. True, they're, they're pretty. Out. The bad guys. They are the bad guys. <laughs> no, yeah, there is no, there's no like, uh, yeah, there's no real sympathy garnered for them. For who? Like, like a mass shoot. There's no like, well, it's a nuanced situation. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, like, there's no like, you know, with with like, if a black guy, if a black dude was like shoot his foe in a school, his foe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'd be like, well, there's like a nuance and that. Yeah, yeah. When dudes like when nerds fucking snap. There's no like, well, you got to think about. It. Everyone's just like, fucking good riddance, dude. But I feel like a lot, a lot of times it's just I don't know. I, I haven't heard of a school shooting where there's like a lot of black dudes. Like a lot of I don't know. There's not. I don't True. Know. So you're onto something. Maybe I mean you know Trump talks about giving teachers fucking guns. Maybe. You know what else? I think if there's a white nerd at a black school, I think the black guys tend to take them under their wing. Do they? Yeah, make funny videos of them, like, dancing. True, that's true, too. You know, yeah. they include them. They're like, hey, you goofy fucking weirdo, don't kill me. You know, joking around. True. At the white school, they're like, you're a loser. You'll never get pussy. Nah. And he's like, yes, I will. Watch. True. No, that's a good point. That's a fair point. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I saw, dude, I saw three little kids the other day walking, literally yesterday, and someone's school bag had been, like, knocked. Like, there was, I just saw, pa- I came around the corner with my dogs, and I saw papers everywhere. And I yeah. was like, oh. <gasps> Someone getting bullied? I was like, holy fuck. And then, like, the kid who had done it. Were you excited it, for the bullying, or were you ready to stop it? I didn't know what was happening. I actually was going to stop it. No, and then, you can't stop a good bullying. Dude, this was like, because I, I see two kids, and someone, like, papers blown everywhere. But the kid had jokingly pulled his friend's school bag down, and then he was getting made fun of by the other two kids for being like, what are you, a bully? And they made fun of him, and I was like... I was talking hmm. to my brother Tom, I was like, dude, that was we would have like walked by and like kicked his shit. And be like, <laughs> fuck you, dude, and like ran away. His friends were like, What are you bullying us? Like, are you a really it was like a they were making wow. fun of him as if he was a loser for like pulling How old open were these kids. Probably like tw- eleven, twelve. So like it it was funny. They were old enough. 
And the Damn. kid who did they must it must not even have real bullies. I don't think they do. Bullies the, are legend now. The kid who did they are they're, they're like the Jedi. The kid who did it, you could tell was like he had this look on his face, like why the fuck did I? What did I just do? What have I done? But you could tell they'd still in them to be like, dude, how funny if I just yanked this kid's school <laughs> bag and pulled all this shit out? Yeah, dude. I wonder if bullies are are like that. Just like I've heard the fucking myths. How f- yeah, this used to be real. He fought the path. He, He's the he, one, dude. He's the chosen one. He might be, dude. There should be bullies back. They need to bring back the force. He yanked a school. I mean, it was like it was. He did good work too. Yeah, the shit was everywhere. It was a windy day. Papers, oh. tests were flying. Oh, he picked up the kids' tests. I'm like, you got an 84. Come on, man. It's time you pick it up. And they're like, dude, what are you bullying him? Wait, they, he was making fun of his grades when you he approached. He, he knocked his stuff Damn. out, and he was like, "Oh, dude, eighty four. You got to get your grades up, bud." And they're, that's when another friend was like, "What are you bullying him?" And it was kind of they were like making fun of this kid. And I saw the kid's face was kind of like, "Fuck!" Like this, there was like a frustration there. Yeah. Well, I should have taken him under my wing. The like, bully. Look. I'm like, dude. She's like, you want to learn the ways? Like, you want to know some bad words you can say at school? <laughs> you know some real bad words that everyone hates? Because I know them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude it was funny seeing that was a weird thing to watch just be like what the fuck yeah i thought for sure the two kids like i was like oh my god these kids are bullying this kid they're about to run away and it was just like a bully got chastised yeah and you could have had a you could have had like a gi joe moment you know what i, I mean where you approach and you're like hey hey knock it off bullying's not cool <laughs> 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 thanks mister <laughs> that would have been tight what you're doing is wrong boy that would have been awesome. And instead, you're like, what the fuck? Are these kids fucking gay? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, stepped on one of the papers to, like, stop it from blowing in the wind, and they just looked at me and were like, what are you doing? And I was like, all right, I'm just going to leave now. Yeah, you tried to, you're like, hey, I'm helping. Yeah, like, I trapped, right, I trapped, it's, weird. it's yeah, not that important. I trapped a scan. <laughs> <It's> an old <laughs> paper. <laughs> I trapped a Scantron, and they were just like, thanks. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Yeah. I had a good weekend. I did. Uh, I did fucking creeps with kids in Harrisburg with. Uh, oh my god! Dude, it was so fucking funny. I bet. Just sitting in that green room with, it's Voss, Bobby Kelly, Florentine, and Bennington. Just dude, seeing geezers out on the road like that is so funny. How long did they each do? Each do twenty, and then they go back on the end, and dude, yeah, I know each of them money. doing twenty is murdering. Yeah, they all that's murder fucking... for twenty. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so funny. It must be such a fun show dude. too. Watch them all do man. a hot twenty. Yeah, who hosts? Voss. I, I was just about yeah. to say, dude. I know. I was. I was like, I was wondering who hosts, and then I was like, oh yeah, Voss. I, has I to host. was thinking it was. He just is a good. He would strike me as a fantastic dude. host. And he was all worried because he, some lady in Chicago, they did Chicago last week, and some lady like emailed that he was racist. <laughs> so emailed who? Uh, like a, a, the next couple venues that they were doing. She looked at their tour. Did emailed you? all the venues and was like, these guys are, Rich Voss is racist. Oh, I thought he caught like a bad chain email. It must be haunting for a geese. Oh, to dude. catch but like a bad so Ford, like... Ford, 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 <laughs> Ford. <laughs> but he was so worried. Viral. He was so worried about it. And I was <laughs> I was sitting there like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm, I might be the last person you want to complain about this to. Like, yeah. what, you got one email? Yeah. Shut up. Who was but, the lady? I don't know, some lady. He And then he like went over, and they were all making fun of him. Yeah. It was so, and they're getting in his head too. Oh like, my god! Voss is racist. He's like, I'm not fucking racist. Oh, I'm not racist. So <laughs> funny. It was great. Watching him bug out about that would yeah. be pretty. Delightful. And he, I mean, you know, it's it is scary. It is like, oh fuck. Yeah, and then think- like he's like, you can see him like adjusting his material. Or, like, they were making fun of him, saying he was. And he was like, I wasn't, I'm not worried. I'm not scared. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you are, dude. Holy fuck. You should blow the yeah. lid off of Voss. Yeah, I should, dude. You should fucking shine the light where it must. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Should I start snitching? If you fucking... Now that I'm fucking... Now that I'm in, now I'm, now I'm in the pen, dude. I might start giving up names. That's how I, I think That's how I think comedy journalists are born. I think it's kind of like being molested. True. You get, like, touched into it. The next thing you know, you're like... Rich Voss's act is highly problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Voss. I would, yeah, I would think he was pretty bulletproof. Yeah. Like, what the, they're going to be like, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was telling. I was like, dude, you're fucking fine. They're not going to cancel you. You're all right. That's tight. He caught some heat. But it, it, it was funny <laughs> to, like, see them all bothering him. And then just, yeah, the way they all interact was, like, seeing old fucking dogs just. I mean, they're grizzled fucking vets. Yeah, man. Seeing them chilling, did, and plus, they, I mean, to, for them to do twenty minutes is probably they could murder. Good, I mean, they, the backstage must have been very relaxed. Very yeah, nervous. yeah, yeah. 
It's, it's like an open mic. Yeah. He's great. Bennington. Damn. He's the man. What's his stand-up like? You would love it. I bet. Yeah. Bennington stand-up is really, really funny. That's awesome. Yeah. It's good stuff. Fuck, anyway. Man, that's fucking sweet. That's it for the stand-up you slid, you slid this in, week. You, no, you slid in and did a little guest spot. Yeah, a little guesty in there. How was that? It was good. In your hometown. Good. Yeah. People clamp, yeah, banging yeah, their chests. Yeah. Iceman was there. Really? The Iceman, oh, right, right, right. Iceman showed up, dude. What? How crazy Iceman. is that? I know. That was to- that was totally like not set up. To- at all. Yeah, I went up to him. and He was like, "Hey, good set." I was like, "Iceman, what up?" He was like, "How do you know who I am?" I was like, "Dude, Matt told me." I was oh like, my- Who is Matt? Oh <laughs> I was my like, "McCusker, <laughs> man." I would have fucking loved. Yeah, to see Iceman that. was great. He was wearing I, like I a Grinch. <laughs> like a Grinch T-shirt. <laughs> I guess one of his cousins. One of his cousins must be a dog. Really? So yeah, because they. That's. I, I thought they. I thought he was your cousin. No, he's Bert's cousin. And Bert's brother Griff. He's a fucking the crime serious dog. Serious dog. No, Bert's crime dog. His little brother. <laughs> no, no, Griff. Oh yeah, sorry. Bert's a crime Gruff, dog. Griff. Griff. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Gruff McGriff or some shit. Who cares? But yeah, the Griff is Bert's little brother. He's a fucking. He's been a loyal dog since like episode really? two. So he might have. He might have fucking slid the DOS. Slid the DOS over the Iceman. But then, put probably put a potato sack over Iceman's head and fucking led him to the undisclosed <laughs> location. <laughs> yes, dude. Um, what the fuck else? What was I thinking of this week? The uh, dude, I was listening to uh, Christmas songs with my babe. That's my. Listening to them and ruining them for is my favorite thing. Oh, dude! Because she she already's on the one. I about, called you the other day. Yep, I forgot all about it. That I was just I walked past somewhere that was playing it. I was like, make the Yule Tide gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I ruined that for her. Yeah. So hilarious. she she never she every time that comes on, she's like, you fucking ruined that. <laughs> and then she started listening to like slutty Christmas music. You know, like uh, fuck, what's like Santa down my chimney? Da, 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 da. It's just like. Weird, like I'm gonna Santa fuck baby. Yeah, she's yeah. like, this is my favorite song. So she's listening to that, and I'm like, dude, this is like weird as fuck. And then I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, which I again, I'm I'm just sitting there doing the dishes, dude. I started fucking singing the, uh, I, I mean, I always did like I saw mama sucking Santa Claus, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, will you stop ruining this? Will you stick and stop ruining this? It was like. I saw Mama sucking Santa Claus, reach around and finger in his butthole. <laughs> it's like, will yeah. you fucking stop? You're ruining the holiday spirit. Ruining basically. the holiday spirit. Then Baby It's Cold Outside came on, and that's when I started being like, Baby, I'm so fucking hard right now. I mean, you don't even have to really change I mean, that. I mean, I could do a Christmas album. You should. I could do a Damn. full Christmas album, dude. I'm so fucking hard well, right now. Well, our page has a lot of, I should do this. Yeah. Christmas, a Christmas album. album would be tight. To get in the studio and Weird Al Christmas album would be <laughs> just the all of them suck. It's I mean, all just do, like I could do it. Reaching around and sucking his dick and saying, <laughs> I, <laughs> I saw Daddy jerking off <laughs> underneath the mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> just on like an unrelated day. Like it was actually just a Tuesday yeah, afternoon. Yeah. Um, but dude, I started laughing. I was upstairs. This is actually funny because she's sitting there. So she's staring at me. She's giving me looks like, stop ruining my songs. And I already, of course, I, you know, I'm already somewhere else. And I started, I basically promised myself I'm going to start identifying as an adult who believes in Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> and when people fucking challenge me. My I'm niece is almost, start- <laughs> dude, my niece, my niece is an adult who believes in Santa Claus. I'm like, last year was when she still <laughs> believes him. I'm going to start reacting. My real niece bad. is, dude. I'm not, I don't mean this really? shit on her. How old is she? She's old. Old enough. But enough that like I called her now and I'm like, uh, what's Santa getting you? Just to like test the yeah. water. I, I still don't want to ruin it for her. Sure. But it's like, post Santa sucks when you find post Santa does it. suck. That's dude. I'm gonna start. It's the end of an era. When people start saying stuff, I'm like, um, excuse me. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start Santifa. True. <laughs> Just go and show up. And be like, <laughs> start protesting. Miracles are real. <laughs> Fuck you. I started throwing fucking. Bro, destroy Starbucks. <laughs> dude, I was in the dishes quaking. <laughs> My shoulders were shaking. She's like, what are you? And I'm like, dude, I was like thinking. I gave her the Santifa and she was just like. Santa Claus is real, dude. Santa Claus, dude, I'm telling you. Don't bring that shit to me trying to tell me he isn't. It's true. Dude, it's fucking. The reason dude. he hasn't visited me is because I've been bad. Santi? Yeah. If nah, I put dude. together like a good year, he'll come back. Oh, he's been get s- me a new bike. He's been smited by Republicans, dude. 
Santa's Wait. way too radical. But Republicans got rid of him? Yeah, the GOP fucking banned Santee, dude. What? He's, he's in Guantanamo. Santee's in Gitmo? That's the... This is the <laughs> fucking this waterboard. Is the, like, oh, boom, <laughs> oh, no, no. This is the fucking creed of fucking Santifa, dude. Wow. Santa Santa is a fucking... He was, he's a freedom fighter, dude. He's giving toys to all the good little boys and girls. True. And the GOP fucking snatched him. We're like, you can't fucking do that, dude. Damn. Mattel. It's all think, fucking Mattel. Do you think AOC is... Gonna unlock the Christmas spirit? No way, dude. Why? She doesn't believe in Santa either, dude. What political leader do you think? I think Biden. <laughs> Biden. You're probably dude. right about that. Okani sent me a clip of his that speechy. I think they posted it in Egg Gang. Oh, the one where he was like, Stuff "Just I know about roaches." <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? I I kind of like Biden. I'm a Biden guy, dude. I would be the same way that when Trump, I think he's funny. The same way that when Trump got elected, I was like, "Damn, this is gonna be hilarious." Yeah, I would love a 2020 Biden of, <laughs> of, of, of him just being like, well, "What's going on? What are we doing here?" Just people dude, being like, "Dude, what the fuck?" That Democratic debate, he was the, when he, he was got hit on he, fire. He dude. tried to give like a rousing thing at the end. He's like, "This is America. We gotta go back and take it." He like screamed. It was like, "Come on!" And the whole audience was like. <laughs> the best like he got a battering. Well, the other one was yeah when he was talking about domestic violence. He's like, we got to fucking yeah punch this thing in the fucking punch. mouth. <laughs> like, Jesus, dude. Yeah, he's got some. Oh he's God. got. Some, he had some clips about somebody was asking him a while ago. I forget what exactly it was. It was something about like Indian voters in his district, and he's like, we got plenty of Seven <laughs> Elevens. It's like Jesus Christ. Dude. <laughs> It'd be fun to take Trump's like frontal attack and replace it with a guy constantly tripping over his words and be like god, god damn it dude him versus trump debates will be so lit oh, that's so that might funny. that might be the number one that might be the guy to take trump i don't think he's gonna beat him but those will be that's the if best his, if his racism is funnier than trump's big dude he's in it he's might better. be the funnier i think that's the funniest debate combo oh that's gonna be dude that's gonna be like elizabeth warren i don't think it'll be that funny because nah. then it'll get like he's making fun of women he already but, he already threw out the bombshell. I mean, you're making her get her fucking <laughs> you're making her get her like ancestry dot com. Yeah. He already fucking. Sp- I yeah. mean, that was a, that was a necessary political ploy. True, but it's like, what else are you gonna do? That's fun. unless he keeps bringing that up. Him versus Bernie, <laughs> I don't think will be funny. <laughs> if he goes as against, funny. If he goes no, what, if he goes against Elizabeth Warren and just wears a fucking like Indian headdress and comes out on stage, he would fucking elect. He's. I mean. I'm on this. It's gonna be the most, uh, yeah, the most watched, funniest fucking debates, dude. Politics, if they just completely, I mean, I guess they are, but if they just like morph into like boxing for geezers, <laughs> where they just go out and people are just like, bah! yeah, the heavyweight champ comes. Oh in, Oh my dude. god, dude, he right is, now he's got the belt, dude. He's Ali. No one's taking him down. Yeah, I mean, I think they keep pulling like Biden is the only hope, to, and I don't know how because he's constantly saying the most ridiculous shit. Yeah, they. Have this, I don't know, there was also this lady, I might have said it last time, where this white lady came on after Booker and Kamala Harris both mm-hmm. like went at Biden because he was like, I got the only one black woman in Senate. Yeah. And she was like, uh, excuse me, right here. And he was like, I said first. I said first. He did. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> yep. And then... Afterwards, like when the pundits start talking about it, she was like, well, it's got to be frustrating for Booker and Kamala Harris to not have the black vote the way Biden does. And it's like, dude, that's a weird like, no, what are you doing throwing that in, white lady? You saw his speech. I know that is a weird thing to To throw out. Just be like, yeah, they're probably frustrated because the blacks should be voting for them because they're black, too. Yeah, but you fucking weirdo. Biden fucking goes down to Delaware and is like, I know about roaches. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they were good men. Yeah, dude. Strong men. I fist yeah. fought them. Yeah. <laughs> we say use pipes on each other. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, Biden's going down doing the fucking black rooms. He's been crushing. He's, that's why, dude. like, I mean, right now Trump is doing arenas, but he's crushing in the South. He's on the blue collar tour. True. He's on the blue collar tour right now. True. Getting it done. Get her done. The whole crowd <laughs> loves it. Biden's doing black rooms. Yeah. Mm, which has a white comic. Pretty strong. True. That builds, that sharpens your blade. Dude. He's does, ready dude. to take on the get or done. I mean, him against, again, that, that'll be, <coughs> we can only be so lucky as to get that matchup. I think we're getting that matchup. Really? I think so. How? I mean, uh, obviously, he's definitely linked up with, like, he's he's linked up with that, like, Clinton money and shit, so yeah. they'll make it happen. He's also a moderate. 
True. And Warren and Bernie are a little, they're, they're extreme, very far yeah. left. Dude, I would, because Trump's going to. what I'm told. I don't, Trump, Trump's I don't gonna, fucking know. Trump's going to, I'm coming home with Crump. Trump's Crump gonna, daddy, dude. <laughs> Trump's going to fucking bring up uh, Creepy Uncle Joe. The whole He's time. He's going to call him a pedophile. And then Biden will be like, you've been accused of rape like <laughs> eight times. He's like, false. False. Wrong. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna duck that and crush by. And did you hear he got invited to Buckingham Palace? Who? Trump. Sick. He turned it down. No. He went. No, I'm cool. He didn't go. Good. I like that. He really shunning our allies, dude. Fuck yes. No, he's pissed about Prince Andrew being a fucking pedophile. No, that's not why. He fucking turned it down, dude. Why else would he? <laughs> I don't he... know. When he goes there, they all protest. He gets protested <clears throat> everywhere. Although True. his protest was pretty weak in New York. When he went to the UFC fight, there was like... Yeah, there was like 12 people out there. There was like 30 there. people. It's like, get a life. He was like, the fuck out of here. But yeah, dude, the... Uh, but either way, that was I, was... I was watching the news this morning, and I saw that popped up. And I was like, Trump's going to fucking Buckingham? I was like, fucking traitor? To say like, he declined. I was like, what? Bro, I've been on a strong anti-British kick. Have you? Yeah, man. I'm researching for the uh, history podcast. I'm going to oh. drop on the page, dude. You're racist against British people? Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. That's what's I up. I don't like the Brits. Good. If you're a good Catholic, dude, the history podcast is going to be tight. Yeah, that's true. I'll get you fired it's up. It's going to get you fired up, dude. Hopefully when you, you find out the atrocities that have been committed against your people, whew. So you got a good sense of it. I got a good sense of what happened, dude, and it's no good. Damn. The British were mean. Yeah, they were fucking They were assholes. mean guys. Yeah. Did you know that? I knew it. Yeah, they were <laughs> fucking really bad. Yeah. They were racist against other white people. The stuff they did to Ireland was, like, wild. It was horrible. Yeah, it'll get you into the mentality of, well, you know, the Irish had it pretty bad, too, which is a dangerous place to be. Hey, why is that so dangerous to be? I don't know. I, I thought about it a lot when it's, like, when you say, like, the Irish are slaves, too. Yeah. Or were. It's like, yeah, but not in America, which is where we are. You know? Yeah. So, like, black people are still existing under the same government that did that to them. Sure. Irish in America are not. Yeah. So, I think that's the big... This is, like, Irish people's France. Yeah. The United States is, like, Irish people living in France. Yes. There's, like, a black guy who's living in France. It'd be like, oh, it's not the same. And, you know, yeah, yeah, chill. yeah. It'd be like, we got fair. rid of it 40 years before them. Yeah. <laughs> so <it's> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair assessment. But it is weird, because if you even bring up the fact, like, oh, Irish people kind of got fucked, people are like, hush. Well, that's, yeah, all the, all the, it's weird that everybody identifies now as like through your ancestry's victimhood, yet no one, un, no one studies history. Nobody, dude. So like, everybody's like, I'm a POC actually. And it's like, well, your people did some horrific shit too. What are you talking about? Why are we, why do we start the clock at a convenient time? I, dude, I, I've, I never have gotten a good answer for that. Why is the moral clock started at a con- such a convenient time? And you can do it. You can fully explain uh, United St- like the, the, what's going on in the United States through colonialism and all that stuff. But to not add the extra, like, oh, and by the way, like, in a greater scope of history, this was like an ongoing wave yeah. of imperialism. Not to be like, this started, and then colonialists... Like gave non-white people the idea of oppression and showed them how to oppress. It's like that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's PhD level papers pushing that through and being like, well, obviously the people who weren't the people in South America who had been sacrificing virgins <laughs> yeah, learned yeah, yeah. how to rape through colonizers. It's like, what? Yeah, but you know, whatever. I'm not you know I'm not gonna get the talk. No, but it once up. like if you do any. And all I've looked into was the Irish during, and it's like during the potato famine and all that shit. And it's like, bro, we talked about a little of that fucking <laughs> professor you called. He he had it coming, dude. The, yeah, the man. British were bad boys during that. I might roll up. You should. I might fucking skirt. That up could be on, on site on that guy. Oh, it's, it's dude, it's definitely <laughs> on site, dude. I mean, yeah, it's like. Why would that guy? Do, why? What? 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 Like? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. Like, I, I think I'm a, reading it. I'm reading stuff about it now. It's like. They, I mean, we've talked about it before, where, like, the potatoes went bad. Yeah. So then, I mean, there were still grains, mm-hmm. but the English were taking them back to England. Yeah. Like, guarded food stocks with armies and was like, you can't have this. Then they set up soup kitchens. I'm like, the only way you can get soup is if you admit you're Protestant. So you had to deny God, your God, to be able to eat. 
And then so like it'd be called like taking the soup. If you took the soup, you were a piece of shit, dude. Really? Better not take the soup, dude. What? Yeah, and like uh it's also funny also, too. Can when, you like, take the soup and be like fingers crossed? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, but, that's you're fucking with a uh, a nation heavy with leprechaun tricks. True. It's probably like if I stick my tongue between my teeth. Yeah, they the only devil, respond. The devil in, never shall say a lie. Only respond in riddles. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you do you deny Catholicism? Ah, does your mum have fire turn? Like, what? <laughs> it's yes or no. <laughs> Is the orange cross red or far? <laughs> but uh, oh my yeah, God. it's like they just it, it, what they did was fucking nutty for centuries of yeah. just like the, it was illegal to like speak gay like you couldn't speak the language you couldn't be the religion mm -hmm. you couldn't play irish sports you couldn't sing irish songs it was all punishable by like jail is that true where the irish jig came from where they would do the fucking the, the foot dances because if the english came by and saw them having fun or like practicing their traditional dance they would stop them no, i don't know someone told me that's where they would sit in bars like like, like this and then just do a little weird footwork <laughs> no, i don't know that's them, funny they would get happy feet but the uh yeah that shit's fucking crazy yeah a lot of it a lot of, it's like why and then like it's funny to read there's stuff like frederick Douglass came over and was like you guys this is just as bad this is fuck. like from frederick <laughs> Douglass was like this is worse yeah but they'll never they never like yeah they never go that far they'll be like well yeah of course he thought it was bad but you know what that's that's they just they'll just yeah. be like that's besides the point you, you know <laughs> yeah, why yeah. Wh they'll start questioning like why do you need to bring this up and it's like mm, maybe grant perspective uh -huh. maybe uh -huh. you guys are like always bringing it up and i don't mean black people always bring up like i mean honkies no, this is no the my, honkies this is always against the honkies my who was on i'm fully racist against white people with like purple and blue fucking ponytails and ombres I see them and I go, ah, fuck. Yeah, I see them and I'm like, oh, they hate me. Yeah, I just, I see them and I'm like, what, yeah, what the fuck is it? You know, what's going to happen now? I just, I'm, I'm fully prejudiced against young women who dye the like latter portion of their <laughs> hair purple, blue, green, true, pink. They're I dangerous. I see them and I go, fuck. They're dangerous. I instantly dude. prejudge them and I'm like, I don't like that person. They don't like me. True. It's on fucking sight. It, is what it is. Yeah, at at that show in Harrisburg I did with Creeps with Kids, one of the production, like the audio ladies, had a pink bowl cut. And I was just like, oof, I hope she doesn't see my set. <laughs> dude, yeah. She's going to fucking write about it. Gives me the jeebies, dude. They do give out the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> they are mean. <laughs> they are. <laughs> but Fucking nasty. Maybe not. Eh, almost always. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's... I think there's, it's fair to say. Again, there's, there's exceptions to every group. True. There's but. some bad babies, though, with that haircut decent babies but if she's thick that's where it gets if it's like a hardy hardy lady with true. that haircut then it's dangerous true then you could be running into some trouble i literally like if i'm i'm like real careful about being on my phone if i'm like riding the train or something and i see some like purple i'm like don't i'm not gonna see. get caught crowd dude if, I, if they catch you on reddit they call the cops I'm like dude i have a fucking <laughs> school shooter <laughs> oh, i have a guy school shooter yeah well they're right about you what if they caught you looking at it what Reddit? They'd be like, "Oh, that guy's probably racist," and then they'd Google who you are and be like, "Yep, called it, <laughs> called it." <laughs> that is funny when I want to pull up the subreddit every now and again in public. I'll open it up and be like, "Whoa, Jesus Christ!" And just shut it down real quick. I'm like, I fuck, I fuck. Sometimes you gotta shut it down. Hell yeah! What's this dog want? I don't know, Matilda. Get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm gonna blow my nose. Real yeah, quick. yeah, yeah. We back, baby. We back. Yo, shout out, Beal. What up, bro? What's up, Beal? Bill knows. Um, yeah, I was playing Call of Duty with Billy. It's the funniest thing in the world. You guys were live, dude. Xbox Live Call of Duty with Billy is might be the funniest thing. I like. I was just, the whole time I was laughing. He's yeah, got, makes, he he's really good, which is really funny. I had no idea. And he like decorates his guns. Like he's really good at it. What the fuck? Like, he finally screams, time to get, dude. Does he? Yeah, he's got the headset. He's like fuck. Like if he gets killed, dude, it's. Oh, I, I didn't know he was such a gamer. I didn't know he was a gamer. I had no idea. Yeah, but see, I was afraid of making fun of him for being a gamer. I'm not even making fun of him. I just I don't want you to make fun of him for being a gamer. No, I wouldn't. Because I don't want him to quit. I'm I'm instantly jealous of anyone I know who plays video games. Oh, the fact that they can like have the game system, be good at it. Yeah. Like moderate their usage and not completely. Well, like, I I pig out, dude. I, <laughs> I, I ruin it. I literally can't. Like, I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. I would stay up all night playing video games. Like, I, I would do it every yeah. night. Uh, <clears throat> I went and bought a headset today so I could communicate so with Billy. So you talked to Billy? Yeah. 
I'm Fuck. very excited about it. Yeah, like I would love I would love to dude. play. Yes. I mean, dude, having an all dog fucking I know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about, about, about giving up my username, but I mean, right. you might as well. Yeah, dude, it's Tank ND seventy seven. Come get it. Come get that C O D, dude. Oh, yeah, that'd be dude. fun. Link up. I suck at it. Yeah, I'm dude. like not very good. <clears throat> You're decent. I thought I was. I mean, compared to fucking. But then you get Billy up compared there. Compared to Bill Kyle, sniping. dude. Bill Kyle, <laughs> He's dude? a sniper, dude. Is he? Yeah. Fuck. He can snipe. That's fucking crazy, dude. Were you guys, what kind of like, what kind of ops were you guys running? Uh, we were running hard point. We were just running, you know, I mean, dude, everything. Team deathmatch, hard point, domination. What were you? you what were you fulfilling? What role were you fulfilling? I he was sniping. He was sniping. I was fulfilling the role of guarding the steps. Were you? <laughs> so you're just like crouching and jumping. I'd just sit there until I got shot and be like, Billy, they're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you don't have a headset? For, were you just talking? We to were him on, the, on phone. the phone. Yeah, we were on the phone during that. But now I got a headset. That's dude. it's fun. It's so funny. That makes me happy to know yeah. that. That's so fucking awesome. Yeah, man. Billy, calling Billy again is is like my favorite part of the day. Because I walk, you know, I'm walking like shows and shit. For I always sure. walk into the train, just knowing that I can just call him at any point of the day, and he's he will talk the yeah. entire duration for sure. <laughs> How's he usually answer? Uh, usually pretty like what. Yeah. What saying. do you want? The yeah, it gives you yeah. that a little bit, a little bit of. Fucking. But then if you go into a convenience store or something, like if he hears me trying to buy something, he'll just start fucking screaming the worst shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude! I was actually, I was uh, yeah. Osama Bill Laden on Xbox Live. Dude, he's dude, so go funny. get him, dude. Yeah, I want to. I just want to like stash one down here. Start playing Xbox. Dude, if we build the studio down here, might need it. Yeah, sneak, chuck a little Xbox in. Yeah, it's yeah. a good fucking idea. Especially pre-starting things with a little bit of fun. Might have some Twitch. Some live COD. Yeah, that'd be funny. That would be pretty funny. COD's fun, man. You'd I know. like it. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I love really it. Fun. We, we used to play that in the house. That was like yeah. the, playing a four person deathmatch was some of the most it's like the most fun you can have. That's my brain max out on. You, me versus Beezer and Wood were some of my favorite dude. dude. Those NHL games, just getting them going. Well, especially how good you are at video games, <laughs> and I'm so well, I, NHL. I was good enough. All I had to do was just sit there near the goal, and you'd pass it to me, and I would score. It was so funny, getting people, getting yeah. like adult men to be I'm like sad. actually emotionally disturbed. Oh, dude, which happens even, to me. Speaking of that, we haven't even talked about Thanksgiving. How, how can we talk? not talk about TV? What happened? Uh, no, I was just thinking about getting like my favorite thing is to get people upset about things they shouldn't be, <laughs> like to make somebody getting sure. like actually get angry about s- something dumb and yeah. like keep pressing it till they're like shut the fuck up Who'd about get, it. Who'd you get a I got my cousin because every year my family does this dessert contest. Yeah, where they they all try, like all the women in the family like really they really try mm-hmm. to make like a good dessert. And every year, I, I obviously I don't make anything. I just sure. sit there and shit on it. <laughs> like this, whoever made this cake sucks. <laughs> it's always my mom's. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> but uh, my cousin was like, I've never won. Every year, I've never won this thing. What do you make? She made. Oh. Please don't assume her gender. Excuse me. Um, sorry. She made this. I fucking I don't know some German cake. I don't know what German chocolate cake. Yes. It was. I mean, it was. I just re- listen to Steve Harvey talk about making these on the Steve really? Harvey show. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, German chocolate. Like cake. what she made was impressive, and she even put like a chocolate turkey on top of it in the middle. Like really tried. Damn. She was really trying. So I like the judge. This the judges were looking at all the desserts. Mm-hmm. So I was just standing next to them, like, dude, whoever made that cake, that sucks. And she was like, shut up. <laughs> like, oh. I just kept doing it. I was like, I wouldn't wish this cake on my worst enemy. Whoever made this cake <laughs> should be out of the family. So you skewed I just kept fu- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kept talking shit. And then I found the box that she added the turkey on. And I was like, dude, she just added this? That's points off. I thought it came like this. Like, this is bullshit. Well, what, do you, what was the box she had? What, what, what do you it mean? was a box that had chocolate turkeys in it. And I was like, wait, she just put this on? She didn't mold them herself? She didn't make this chocolate? Yeah, like shit like that. Oh, and people God. were like, hmm. <laughs> like the Who were the judges? Uh, I don't even know this lady. There's some geezer lady that was just there. She was like my aunt's friend. So you got like impartial judges. There was just, kinda. well, my aunt won. Her friend judged it, dude. That's you tell me. That's a Clinton Foundation bullshit. type That's shit. Bullsh- dude, speaking of the Clinton Foundation, yeah. I got someone reached out to me. Oh, well, hold on. So ahead, I, was, I kept, someone reached out. So I kept <clears throat> bothering her and be like, dude, this cake sucks. And she was like, at least I'm not racist. <laughs> what? And I was like, whoa, come on. So you got to write where you <laughs> yeah, want it right yeah. now. I was like, that's uncalled for. <laughs> yeah. God, she just, it's, it's the funnest. It hurts me to know that she just walked right into your bear trap. 
Yeah, you just bother somebody on something totally innocuous until they say something mean, and then you're like, whoa, dude, come on. <laughs> that thing was just right around her ankle. It was like, <laughs> And then people were like, hey, come on, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you guys leave it? Uh, I think she was a little – She, I think she was upset, and I felt bad. Then I feel bad because I was like, come on, I was just fucking around. Have you ever thought about this desire to get people to fucking like it, it just scold you really hard? No, it's kind of weird. It's I funny. mean, it's fun. It's so fun to do. To it's people. fun. And it like, is so dude, fun to do. To I'm people. having trouble with it because, all right. So it's like Gerbys. Yeah. Like if somebody gets upset, I can't stop. I know. My mom now, my mom gets super upset if you make fun of her for anything, and I can't not do it. What are you? What are you been? Just I'm not even going to open bro, the fucking floor. Anything. Game. Like she, she got pizza one night. She got one pizza with like onions and mushrooms. And I was like, who the fuck is this for? Because <laughs> no one, she's like, it's from, everybody will eat that. I'm like, you're the only one that likes this. This was selfish of you. Obviously, I'm kidding. She went out and bought pizza. Yeah, yeah. But she doesn't, you know, yeah. she doesn't know that. She's like, I can't do anything right. <laughs> like, gets What's upset. Phil say? Phil get pissed. Phil gets really pissed. Does he really? Yeah, if I get her mad, because now yeah. he's got to deal with that shit. Dude, I'd be furious. <laughs> I'd be so mad if I were Phil. Yeah, he's like, God damn, getting, come on, Shane. You don't talk phone. to your mother like that. <laughs> But he'll laugh. he laughs sometimes. Yeah, like yeah. if I get her fired up about something like really dumb, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. having someone over the German chocolate cake be like, "Listen, I'm gonna fucking raise this." <laughs> yeah, be like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. dude, <laughs> we're fucking family. What's yeah. this about? I'm just razzing you." Yeah, man. Just razzing. I can't. You. I don't know. And that it really, yeah, it affects relationships. You like to razz. You fucking razz hard. True, dude. I mean, so you're just you're, you're sitting there. All the sweet treats are about you, and you just zero in I was, on whoever's trying the hardest, <laughs> yeah. and you just break them down yeah. until they spaz on you, and you're like, "What the fuck is that about?" Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, it's just making fun of people is fun, but yours seems to be targeted in a way that's <laughs> troubling. <laughs> no, dude. It yeah. is funny watching someone completely lose it on you and be like, "You all right?" Yeah, what's that about? That I've been, is, I've been, I've that been is physically so, attacked. That is, <laughs> Remember that kid punched me? The, the, were you there for that? Where? Uh, at the bar by Helium. Mm-mm. It was a comic. I shall not say his name. Oh, you told but me about this. he was this. like talking shit about like, I don't know, we were just going back and forth. And then I was finally like, dude, you will never do anything in comedy. <laughs> like he spazzed and started, he started punching me. And I was like, I is he fighting me? Is he trying to fight me? Dude, <laughs> that's fucking brutal. And then he got like chased out of the bar, and, like sprinted home. Oh, I, and know I was like, what the hell was that? What's his problem? About. And then called I called him later yeah. that night. I was like, ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. God damn, dude. That's so but fucking yeah. funny. And lady, it's not good to do to women. No. Well, they, yeah. they, all they I can felt do bad. My co- I felt bad for my cousin. They, all think, they can do is hurt with words. Yeah. And she she was like, I defended you. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. It's okay. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the next level of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, you weren't there, and I was defending that you. That would work on yeah. me so badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt bad about that one. Yeah, when women pull a guilt card on me, I crumble, dude. I'm just like, you're right. I'm a piece of shit. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. God that's, damn it. That's, uh, that's something I got to work on. It was kind of funny. It was funny. Thanksgiving was funny. I got to lay off my mom. Yeah, for sure. She's so sweet, dude. Man. She's it's so just, sweet. Dude, she's like Gerby's. It's just easy it's to It's just like if you, get, if you say something to them, they're like, what? What? Yeah. It's like, oh, man. I can't let that go. Yeah, I, I try, I, I've explained that to people in the past. I'm like, you just got to stop giving the reaction, man. You can't give it. And if you give it, just shut it down right away. I spazzed today. Brittany fucking blamed me for... She has this water bottle. It's so fucking funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I got my friend. I got my my friend Jared, who's known as the pest, because he does that to people. Great. He he's the pest, dude. The pest will get you. If he pests you, he starts (laughs) pesting you. Just it's the worst thing. Like if you find so it's again, it's like if you find something that no one can get mad at. Yeah. And you make them mad about it. It's hilarious. It is funny. But I got him. He was talking about he was the best pest. He he was like, I'm the best. Like, something like that. And I instantly got got him to freak out in like one minute. Did you really? Yeah, I was like, Michigan football sucks, dude. They got lucky against Notre Dame because he loves Michigan. Oh. He was like, what? He's like, you don't even fucking watch. You don't watch anymore. I was like, dude. I'm doing my own thing. I'm my own. Like I I, I don't even watch those kids anymore. He's like, fuck you. (laughs) Oh, my God. I mean, a minute later, he realized. He got past. He it. got past it, dude. What did he say? Did he fucking bow? He didn't bow. 
he's the true pest. The pest true pest, the true pest is the, he is the one true pest. Dude. He will fucking ruin you. Yeah. But I did pest him that time. Oh, that's so funny. It is fun. It is funny to do to just kind of fuck around people and poke and see where yeah. you can fucking get it. And then them. when you get them to actually freak out, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, it's interesting. You can literally do that to a person you know. If you probably. I got Vecchione. I, I pested Vecchione into freaking out because I was making fun of Italians. And he got upset. <laughs> It is funny how somewhere I was talking about how Italian women were like hairy and had hooves. <laughs> he got he was like, You're actually disrespectful right now. <laughs> was this like on a podcast or no? Talk? This was just at his house because he lives with soda. Oh my god. So I was just sitting god. on the couch and like he came home like tired from doing shows. And I'm just uh, sitting there playing uh, video games with soda and <laughs> just instantly I'm like, What do you got? Wops, wops, dagos, all that shit. Uh, and he's like, All right, okay. Yeah, like, get him fired down. up. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, that, yeah. Telling we, I literally, someone on Twitter hit me up. He was like, "Yo, the episodes." We went in basically being like talking about the Vatican on the last episode, how hard it was because you can't tell like pedophiles between Italians, <laughs> just and, like, regular Italians. How like, or the church thought it had like a homosexual, a homosexual thing, and it really it was just the fact that it was just, just Italians. Italians. <laughs> he tweeted, "He's like, brother, cast him in fire. You gotta lay off the Italians, dude. <laughs> dude it fucking kill." Do you think me. you're going too hard on the Italians? No, you can't go hard enough. True. As I say that, I gleefully make fun of Italians and make them spaz, and I'm like, it's the funniest. <laughs> fu- it is so funny yeah. to do. I mean, I, that was bred into me from a young, young age. My yeah. dad told me I was little. He's like, Italians are crybabies. He like sat me down. And was like, I have Italian mechanics at that they had the trash station. They're like, oh my god, they're the biggest crybabies. And like from Dude. like five, I was like, Italians are crybabies. And I've just been buzzing around with that in my head. Yeah. And every time I see it, I'm like. Yep. Cry baby, daddy's right. <laughs> uh, speaking of, did you watch the Irishman? No, I Bro. refuse. Did I tell you why? Did I talk what to you about that? De Niro, why the fuck? De Niro's De CGI Niro? face. What? What is that? It's the <laughs> dumbest fucking look. I saw the. Preview. I think the movie's pretty good. I liked the movie. I refuse to watch it. The first half is so hard to watch because it's De Niro with a CGI face, with like see like blue eyes. He has like yeah. blue eye contacts or something crazy. He looks like Stevie, <laughs> dude. He's got like a weird fake. He looks like Stevie at the end of Eastbound when he's like, "I fucking kill myself. My dick doesn't work." <laughs> but there, dude, there's a scene. <laughs> he looks exactly like Stevie in that. They also fucking didn't CGI his body. So he's going through all these like he's like beating people up with like an old man body. It's the <laughs> dumbest looking fucking thing in the world. So it's like you know they do Beowulf and they like CGI yes. as fuck it. They yes. CGI. He has like a PS2 face. <laughs> just his old body. His old body. It makes no sense. Did you see any of those interviews between him and Pacino where it's like GQ epic conversation? Uh, no. It's just them in like an all white room like sitting there. It looks so it's like that it's just the shit that big companies churn out. Yeah. Then like, what's like the most epic movie you ever did? And it's funny because right away, Pacino talks about how they used to do plays, how they both grew up in like Greenwich Village, Greenwich Village. Yeah. How they're like theater dorks, yeah. pretending to be mobsters. But Pacino is just like pretty comfortable. Like, oh, he used to do plays and like, yeah, like open mics. But you would do like they would do like a a play would run like a one act play, Ugh. and then you would do like ten of them a week, get a little bit of money. De Niro the whole time's quiet, kind of being like, yo, bro, chill. Dude. That's because De Niro, li- dude, he's stuck in the bit. He is. He's trapped in the bit of like, I'm like, actually a tough guy. I'm do a you remember ass. his fucking Trump video? Yeah. He's like, I beat you up, you're a dog. I be- you think you're a tough guy? You think you're tough? It's like, dude. It's like, dude, do you think you're tough? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Trump would rain on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trump's <laughs> thick, dude. I mean, I, I would be willing to bet Trump would beat up Robert De Niro. Trump would probably... Yeah, dude. I think I he think would he lay would. hands on him. It'd be a good fight either way. I don't think it would be that good. Do you think Trump would fuck him up? I think, De- dude. Wait till you see De Niro's body. I saw. I saw when him he's sitting walking around fucking- in the vi- in the fucking show. It's like, damn, dude. Pacino looks like a fraggle. Pacino, <laughs> <laughs> Pacino is like fucking. I saw him in the thing. He looks like a fucking yeah. psycho. He's chilling. He's living his life. De Niro's still like. Doing like his whole yeah. like like he's like Gaylord Falker's dad still yeah it's kind of like Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this yeah you know, the interview was so bad and then Brittany showed me the preview and I was like why does Robert De Niro have blue eyes and I was like he's supposed to be fucking Irish I'm like yeah all the people they could have gotten bro I was like a black dude when the fucking <laughs> Egyptian came out I was like you fucking see? I was like okay I'll give no, you guys I don't, that I don't care about that like he could play and I like I think he was Irish in Goodfellas he was he was Jimmy Con- he was an Irish he was half. Guy. Yeah, or something. But still, I don't care that. I care that he was playing a fucking 40-year-old. 
Yeah. And they didn't adjust his body. He, dude, there's a scene where he stomps a guy. <laughs> to be fair, most 40-year-olds are built like that now. No. No one is. He, dude, he's like, <laughs> he walks. It's crazy. <laughs> when he has to throw guns into a river and, like, step over rocks, <laughs> it's like, holy shit, dude. This dude's going to die. Yeah, and it's like. He said a stunt devil to, like, jog. They, I don't know why they didn't. Just put a, if you can do that to his face, just literally, just cast someone else. Just cast somebody <laughs> young that looks like De Niro. Anyone, dude. Yeah. It was wild. They should have Paul walker like. They should have Paul walker They should have Paul walker somebody. They should have Paul walker Paul Walker. <laughs> they just put Paul Walker as younger De Niro for no reason. <laughs> That's what I would do if I got mega paid, which is continuously releasing pl- blockbusters and CGI <laughs> Paul Walker. I would remake great movies like Casablanca. Like all of us have Paul, Paul yeah, Walker. Dude. Ghostbusters, Which is real bad <laughs> deep fakes. <laughs> just Paul Walker's face just on all these old. Just things. an all Paul Walker Ghostbusters cast. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. That'd be great. That's fucking awesome. That'd be so. That'd sick. be a hit. Dude, that all be... strictly Paul Walkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do. You should just remake Fast and Furious with all Paul Walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Every single character, the crowd cheering. <laughs> just Paul Walker giving himself dap the entire time, <laughs> like being John. Tight Malcolm. ride, dude. I'm gonna do being Paul Walker. Instead of being John Malkovich, yeah. like, Paul Walker, Paul Walker, Paul Walker. <laughs> um, God, oh, man. bro. I watched, this has been bothering me so much, and I don't know if it's going to bother. I think i got to show it to you. Show it to me. We'll All slide right. in the page. We're at an hour. All right. There's, yeah, I'll just show you this video. We'll get to the page. What a cliffhanger, um, dude. Wow. What's this vid? Show um, me the vid. I also got I to gotta leak the fucking people who... I can't say too much. All right, hold on. Before we go. Go ahead, go ahead. December 13th and 14th, come out to Worcester, Massachusetts to the Woo Ha Ha Comedy Club. Come on, man. Come on. Get in there. Uh, 19th, 20th, 21st, Raleigh, North Carolina at Good Nights. December 26th, 27th, 28th, Magoobie's Joke House down there in Baltimore, down there in Baltimore. How about those Ravens? I like Uh, the quarterback. Yeah, he's nice. 9th, 10th, and 11th of January, Buffalo Comedy Club. Or Bu- Helium Buffalo. That'll be a good one. That'll be I think strong. The, the turd's rolling with me to a lot of these. Turd and Beezer, I think, on most it's of like these. It's like Bebop and Rocksteady, dude. Dude. You're Master Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> those two. Just send those two out. Uh, yeah. We'll switch over to the page. Let's do it, baby. God bless.